How's everyone doing this evening? Farmer Mike, live tonight at Lowe's Home Improvement Store. And um, hope you're having yourself a wonderful start to your week. I just wanted to hop on the live and talk a little bit about corn. And this is going to be, this is going to be a very enlightening live tonight. So please make sure to um, forward this video on to other people and hit us with a, a heart or a thumbs up and let us know what you want to hear more about as we go in depth on urban farming. Also follow our YouTube channel, Ophelia's Bluevine Farm on YouTube. We have over 145 videos all dedicated to urban farming. And tonight I'm at the local Lowe's store and I'm talking seeds, but I'm specifically talking about corn. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you the display right now and right here. And I want to talk about these corn varieties. Now look at this corn right here. This is a sweet corn. This is a, a, a great corn that we grow here in uh, the Midwest. This is peaches and cream. This is, this is a hybrid. This is a hybrid corn, okay? Now let's look at this one right here. This is a, a sweet corn, early sun glow. That's another hybrid, okay? Let's go to... This one right here, Golden Cross. This is a hybrid. Now, what exactly does that mean for you? Well, a lot of you probably don't know that a hybrid seed, okay, a seed like this that you get, if you plant this seed into your garden, okay, you're gonna get some great tasting corn, but if you try to save that seed and plant it next year, it is not going to taste like it tasted this year. And that is because the seed manufacturers, basically, they want to, they want you to come back to them every year, okay, for more seed, okay? And so when, when you talk about being sustainable, what we want to look for heirloom seed varieties or seed varieties um, that are open pollinated. And so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to show you an example. Um, Let's see if I can find, see if I can find some. And they're getting, they're getting harder and harder to find actually, um, these type of varieties. But let's, let's look at this one right here. And we know that this, and I know for a fact that this watermelon seed, this Congo, this Congo is, is an open pollen variety. So on this watermelon, you could save the seeds from it as long as it's grown in a field without another type of water, wa uh, watermelon in it so it doesn't cross pollinate. Um, or you can grow this in like a, a greenhouse and, um, and you're gonna, every year you can save seed from that watermelon and you're going to have a watermelon true to type. So next year it's gonna taste the same, the year after that it's gonna taste the, year, it's the same, the year after that it's gonna taste the same. And so, the open pollinated, the heirloom seeds are becoming harder and harder to find. So I'll say that again. The open pollinated and heirloom type seeds are becoming harder and harder and harder to find. So what I want to talk a little bit about what I have in my pocket is, is um, a corn seed that was actually... Um, nearly extinct and so just got this in and it's actually right here in this package and it's called Jimmy Red Corn and the story behind this particular corn seed that we're going to grow this year at Ophelia's is it was once nearly it was near extinction okay it has a sweet flavor high bricks so high sugar it's a dent corn so it's a corn that can be used for cornbread but this particular corn was a moonshiner's corn and it dwindled down to just two ears, just two ears. Um, and this was an open pollinated heirloom variety. And I'll show you right here. As you can see. Now I didn't get this at Lowe's, uh, you know. I got this, um, was shipped to me from some people wanting to 
um, wanting to basically prevent this particular corn from becoming extinct. And they believe in the fact of they don't agree with the hybridization of our seeds and they believe in sustainable systems. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here and open this and um, we'll be experiencing this for the first time. I'm going to open this and show you what this what this ancient heirloom seed that was nearly extinct at one time that I managed to get a few seeds from that will grow out out of philias and um, and we'll save the seed. And then next year we will be able to uh, plant it out on a lar lar larger scale. And I'm really excited about the, the corn having a high bricks and using it for uh, maybe we'll do some distillation and make some whiskey. So if you would like us to do that, leave a comment in the, uh, in the comment sections, or maybe you would like us to make it into cornbread. If you'd like us to do that, leave a comment in the comment section. So I'm in Lowe's right now, again, talking about hybridization of seeds and how your, your, um, your, it's becoming harder and harder to find open pollinated seeds, seeds that you can plant, that you can save the seeds from one year and then plant year after year after year and have them be true to type. And I just got in today, um, some seeds, from a rare corn called Jimmy Red Corn, and you can Google it. It was um, a bootlegger's dent corn near extinction. And so, as my part at Ophelia's, we're gonna grow this out and make this seed available uh, for people to purchase and also make the seed uh, available for people to enjoy through whiskeys and other products. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and uh, we'll, be, we'll look at, be looking at this for the first time. And this is how it came to me. Okay. And let's open it up. My early Christmas Hanukkah present, right? See what we got. See what we have here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 93% germination rate. This is going to be in the field a long time, guys. 105 days. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got. See what we have. Doing it kind of with one hand. Look at what we got. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Huh. Pretty amazing. Look at that color. Beautiful color. Heirloom. Heirloom seed. This is called Jimmy Red Corn. So, again, I wanted to uh, to touch on that today to really show you the difference um, and how we're making a difference at Aphelius and how you have to really be paying attention to the industry and what are the trends and, and what people are doing to you. And uh, And again, see how that says hybrid on it? Can't save the seeds from that. See how this says early sun glow hybrid? Can't save the seeds from that. So we talk about sustainable systems. We talk about preserving the heirlooms. 